What's up everybody? I'm Danny DeVries with Edge Products and today I want to walk you guys through the quick and easy installation and integration of this Edge CTS2 Insight and we're going to integrate it with this Amp Throttle Booster. Now we're going to be doing this install on a 2019 L5P Duramax diesel. So let's go ahead and get inside of here and let's check it out. The Edge Insight CS2 and CTS2 along with the Amp Throttle Booster now work in conjunction with the 2019 Chevy and GMC L5P. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and walk you through the installation of how you guys can use these together. If you're familiar with the Edge products and you like monitoring everything that's going on in the cab of your truck and throughout the system of your truck, this is the perfect setup for you. The new update on the Insight CTS2 and CS2 now allows you to check out your soot accumulation percentage. It also notifies you when you're, where your DEF levels are and when it's going to go into a region. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. When you purchase your Insight CTS2, it's going to come with an HDMI OBD2 cable. What we're going to do is locate your OBD2 port down here and plug in the OBD2 HDMI cable. What we've done is we've gone and taken the OBD2 HDMI cable and routed it up through the fuse panel, securing it with the zip ties provided. Now it's as simple as plugging in the HDMI port in the back and mounting it on a safe, secure position so you can monitor everything that's going on with your vehicle. So in this particular kit, we've got the amped throttle booster as well as the power switch. Now, if you don't have a power switch in your kit, then you can go ahead and skip a few of these steps. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install our power switch onto our wiring harness, which goes just like this. Just like that, our power switch is installed. Now, let's actually get into the installation of the throttle position sensor here. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna locate the throttle position sensor plug off of the throttle going into the main computer. Now, to prevent any type of fault codes happening, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect the negative side of your battery before doing this, and which we've already done. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here, pull this plug, and set up our amp throttle booster. So the first step on this install is going to be to disconnect our throttle position sensor, which is right here, located next to the pedal underneath the dash. We're going to go ahead and pull out this lock and remove the plug. When you purchase an amp throttle booster from Edge, it's going to come with a wiring harness. That wiring harness, you're going to take the male end and plug it into the throttle position sensor coming off of the throttle, and then you're going to take the female end and plug that into the wire going back into the truck. Then you have the long end, that's going to plug directly into the amped throttle booster. So now that we've got our wiring harness set up, it's time to get into the amp module. What you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, and you're going to come in right here and pop these tabs to get inside. Okay, now that we've popped the tabs and we've gotten inside, now we're going to hook it up to our controller sensor here. Now you want to keep this thing away from any metal objects to prevent any type of shorting. Once you hear it click, you know it's connected successfully. What you're going to want to do is make sure that this toggle is all the way up to stock. Now once it's stock, we're going to go ahead and go through the learn pedal position. Now, if you went ahead and disconnected the battery, go ahead and reconnect the battery. Now is when we're going to go ahead and do the learn position. What you need to do is make sure the ignition is in the on position, and we'll start the learning process. Now we're going to go ahead and put this into learn mode. This will allow the module to learn your specific accelerator pedal sensor output. Make sure the pedal travel is not impeded by the floor mat or any other objects going into this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press and release the learn pedal switch. The status and level indicator lights will both illuminate. What you want to do is slowly depress and release the throttle pedal a few times within a 15 second window. This will allow the module to learn the specific accelerated pedal sensor output. When the status indicator begins to flash and the level indicator turns off, go ahead and turn off your ignition. Now that we've installed the amp throttle booster with this power switch, we have six different throttle sensitivity settings. Low, which is 50%, medium, 75%, high, 100%, then we have valet and extreme. This is gonna allow you a lot more control and take away the dead pedal on your vehicle. And just like that, everything's installed. 
The Edge Insight CS2, CTS2, and Amp Throttle Booster are now available for the 2019 L5P. To find out which products are right for you, go to edgeproducts.com.